Well, guess what happened? Good old Jerry went hunting for grouse with his 410, and he got two of them. Looks like I got two different kinds, spruce hen and a sharpie maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, depending how shot up they are, I'm going to try to do them two different ways, one hole and one uh, cut up for you. So let's get at her. And to celebrate, we are going to have ourselves a stubby old time beer. Oh, yeah. What a great day. Beautiful evening. That's what hunting's about. You got to get out. It's all luck. Hunting is all luck. But it ain't lucky unless you're out and about, constantly out there looking. So guys that go out once or twice and be like, oh, I didn't get shit. Well, you got to be out there all the time during hunting season. So it's chance. I said to myself, I'm going to take my 410 just in case. And three quarters of the way here, I blasted one right in the dick. And then I was going just out close to my cabin. I'm like, I'm going to go down a back road and see. And there was a spruce and I blasted her right in the dick. And what do you know? I got two. Now I was going to do a cooking show tonight of wings, chicken wings. So now I got grouse to do plus chicken wings. Can't go wrong, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's show you what we got. So it looks like we got a Sharpie. I don't know. Sure. And a spruce. So if you look at the feathering, there are two different types of featherings, okay? This guy is a spruce, like spruce trees and that. You see his tail? And then look at the other tail and the feathering. Okay, look at the patterns around them. But anyways, get Lenka. No! So, let's, uh, let's get on it and see what happens. I'm going to turn the camera view this way so you guys can see everything. Okay, Lenka. Yeah, you see her sitting there just awaiting. I think you'll get the good angle here. Okay. Sharpen up the old axe. Feathers blowing everywhere. enough. Take your bird. Take your fingers. Rip. Now you see how, oh, there's this, there's this gizzard full of stuff. Do you see how this guy has white meat? Okay, so his guts are starting to come out a bit. So what we're going to do is we can't mess around. You're going to see the breastbone here and it cuts off into a Y. Let's take your knife and slice along the breastbone. And just kind of take your thumb, peel away, and keep going down. Get it away from all that crap. And you got your nice self a nice piece of massive breast meat. Nice titty meat right there. Put that down, take the other one, slice down the other side of the bone. Oh, my dog is going nuts, absolutely nuts. You ain't getting any of this, Lenka. You are not. Don't worry. You are not. If there's any shit on the meat, you got to cut that away. Can't eat that. You'll get sick. So I'll wash this off. You know what? We're going to cook this right away. I'm going to take a chance of getting sick. Wash her off.
get you ain't getting any of this i'll tell you that much no siree get your nose out of there you now i want to get the gizzard in the heart but i don't know if shit's been blasted in there you can see the hearts way up top here i'm going to pick it out i'm not going to fuck around with the gizzard there's a little heart that's a nice little tasty piece of meat cut off the top give it to the dog our dog eat that right here go for that put that in our pile legs ah oh, there's guts in this one i don't know if i can get that I'll, I'll try the legs on this one on this side maybe not hmm i can't take a chance on this one i'll get sick we got the breast meat Okay, this guy is another story. We blast them right in the head. So, take them. Take your thumbs. Feel, oh, maybe they are the same. They're just a different uh, rough grouse, maybe, and uh, Sharpie. That could be what it is. You don't even really need a knife to do a lot of this. You can do a lot of leg breaking and just peeling, as I say that. Feel his leg out. Snapper at the knee. So I get the wings out too. So I blasted him in the wing so he couldn't fly away. And I blasted him in the head too. I like to say I blasted them in the pecker. You know, I don't need to. The... There's not much on this wing here. I'll just break it right there maybe. Trying to decide what to do here. Take your fingers and lift up. See how his guts and everything come out nice without interrupting? A little anatomy lesson. Here's the gizzard, intestines. Here's the, uh, the liver. Okay, here's his throat. Goes into the stomach, which is the gizzard. Here's his heart up here. We take his little piece of heart out. We're going to eat that. We're going to fry that up. Go on, take another little piece of my heart now, baby. Whoa. Take it. However that song goes, we're going to cut his fucking head off. Yeah! Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to pull all that out like this. Okay. Twist. Twist. Okay. And now what you do is you have a whole piece like this once you get all the fucking feathers off her and you can just roast it you can go like 450 degrees uncovered for like 15 or 20 minutes and that'll roast it all whole just it'll see all the juices in the outside and roast it all nice up for you now where are these legs see this one's like 
you can dick around a bit because uh, this is a clean shot. There's nothing fucking around with the guts. There's one leg. Snapper. You see the bone there. Two legs. Just take. Oh, you know what? We're gonna. Shall we keep the gizzard? Let's try to slice him. Slice the stomach off him. Maybe we'll try to eat the gizzard. I'll show you the gizzard. No. That's a little bit of shit there. Let's see, am I going to dick around with the gizzard today, boys and girls? I don't know. So that's the inside of the stomach because that's where all the gravel is and stuff. I like to eat this, but you know what? Today, what you can do is you can peel it inside out, clean all the gravel and the, the fresh chewed leaves, and then you take the sinew off and you fry up that piece of meat. Not today. Anyways, let's get all the hair off this guy, wash our axe off, or pardon me, my knife. As meat's nice and cooled down now. So if you want to save these guys like this and present them nice for a Thanksgiving or for a Christmas dinner or something, this is that's how you can do it. You can see one of the, yeah, there's one of the steel pellets right there from the 410, right there. Don't use lead shot, use steel. I don't even know if you can buy lead shot anymore, really. Unless you like your babies a little bit retarded, go ahead and use lead. So we're just going to wash these off and then uh, put them aside to cook tonight. Maybe in the frying pan, maybe roast this one in the fireplace and cook these in the frying pan. I don't know. Do whatever the fuck we want because we're adults. Yeah, so... Let's have a beer to finish, celebrate. Wash these down, and then that's it. Put them in, uh, put them on ice. I got a fridge, same for tonight. All right guys, next time.